Today we're going to give you some permission to do some things that we don't ever want you to do after this, all right? We want you to think of all the kinds of names that people get called, all kinds of bad names. Dumbo, Fortmaster, Key Brain, Reject from Mars, a jerk, right? Gaylord, Boogerman, Maggot. How do you spell that? F-A-G-E-T. -E That's not how you spell it. Immigrant. Retard. Homosexual geek. Whitey. Whitey, all right. Hat. Old hag. <laughs> Come to the point of class, we call him Blockhead. All right, well, put it down. Midget. Midget. Yeah, midget. Um, tomboy. Curver. Oh. Four eyes. Yeah, four eyes. That's real dish. All right, great. So we'll have you come up to the front, hold up your sheet, and read the sheet out to the group, OK? OK, go ahead. Donkey boy. Gaylord. <laughs> Coward chicken. Eat my shorts and call it a love story. <laughs> How are you guys feeling hearing these words? The person who is swearing to the other person feels good, but the person who is being sweared at feels bad. Yeah, go ahead. They're not good to say to other people. Okay, so you all agree it's not, they're not good words, right? So you use them at certain times, why? Like, say, they just use, them back. say they diss my mom, right? And they don't know my mom. My mom didn't do anything to them, so I diss them back. Okay, if they say a name to you and then you start to like hit them or kick them and try and make a strategy or run away from them, they, they might like come back and beat you up and all that and then they may, might make your life a living nightmare. When somebody bothers you in the school, what does the school say you should do about it? Is someone picking on another person? You can tell an adult. Okay. You can use a strategy. A strategy, right? Yeah, like just pretend that you have to go somewhere or something. Or trick them by telling them your mom's behind you and then you run away. Hmm. You can get back a revenge on them. <laughs> <laughs> This girl's a bully, right? And she's a victim, let's <laughs> say. Right? And um, this girl, her moms are gay. <laughs> I mean, let's see it. So that's what this girl is bullying her about, and they're like in an alley. And this girl, she's older, like one of the cool people. Hey, if it isn't the Leslie Ben! Excuse me? Well, your mums are gay, right? Uh, yeah. Get lost, Cindy. We're rehearsing for the Battle of the Bands next week. Cindy, we gotta move. The game starts in 10 minutes. Later, Lesbo and the Luzarellas. <laughs> <laughs> Habib. Was Cindy, like, born evil? Or did she just have a curling iron accident? Ah, just ignore her, Anta. Take away the designer jeans, the mega-priced t-shirt, the perfect hair, and what have you got? A bald naked girl? No, Smudge. A bully. I know, Tien. But it still hurts. Stop your moping, kid. You don't have to take any crapola from Cindy. I don't? Meow. Take cats, for example. Cats don't get sad. They get even. You're right, Murphy. I'll make Cindy pay. <laughs> Pimple, pimple, burning bright. Give Cindy a pimple this very night. Awesome pimple, Lesbo. <laughs> Boy socks. Two. Uh, old cabbage, 10 grams. 
Stinky cheese, just a dab. I said just a dab. <laughs> I love your new perfume, Freakerella. Eau de Garbage. Magic gives you pimples, and science makes you stink. Maybe I should just give up. Ah, you just got started, kid. This revenge thing really sucks. Sucks? That's it, sucks! Box them out, box them out! Who's responsible for this? Oh my, finally you decide to use the new vacuum and this is what you do with it? But Cindy's always dissing me. Because I have two moms. Oh, Cindy sounds like a bully. But I can't just let Cindy get away with it. You're right, but revenge isn't the answer. Come on, you're so creative. You don't want to be like Cindy. 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 I know. I'll write a song for the Battle of the Bands. Who's not just the clothes you wear? Well, your moms are gay, right? You just me on the way to school. Awesome. Try to Pimple, make me lesbo. Seem uncool. <laughs> Who's not just the clothes you wear? Later, Who's Lesbo and the Luzarellas. know what gays and lesbians, when we say gay and lesbian, what that is? Queer. Queer, right? Different from others. Like holding hands with the man. <laughs> okay. The same boys like boys and girls like girls. Right. Two girls. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> a boy goes up to a boy and always hugs him. So when, so when a boy hugs a boy, does, it all, does that mean he's gay? No. Okay. Let's be clear about that, all right? So what did you say? See him walking around libraries and stuff, trying to move on old people. Oh, is that what you think gays and lesbians are doing? Yeah. 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 How about that guy, Elton John, who was wearing these platform shoes and then these big, wicked bell bottoms? Um, is he gay? Elton John is gay, right? He's told the world he's gay. He's clearly gay, right? Who can tell when somebody's gay? <laughs> you can say Kitchen. If, if it's a guy like acting like that, then you know. But, but, but girls can do that, because I don't know. That's, that's, that's their tradition or something. <laughs> it's okay for a girl to be a tomboy, but it's not okay for a guy to be a tom girl. Why is that? Because girls have different style clothes. Most clothes now, like jeans and stuff, are unisex, so both sexes can wear them. Men might think wearing a girl's dress, there's nothing wrong with it, and and the other way around. But then there's another thing, shoes. Right, what about shoes? Why would a guy want to wear girl's shoes? <laughs> oh, they like boys, and then they say, oh, I like him, so I want him, so I'm going to dress up like a girl, and then do something. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Gays and lesbians dress in all kinds of different ways, just like everybody in this room is dressed, right? Yes. Yes. Some people okay. are always afraid of them, so pe most people don't hang out with them. Okay. 
So if somebody's gay, does that mean they have to be gay with you? No. No, right? Okay. Kevin, what's, so your message is, what are you trying to tell people in your painting? These are two guys who met on the street. There's a man called Shehu, and he bumped into Habib, and Habib asked Shehu if they want to be friends. But then uh, Shehu told Habib that he was gay, so Habib told Shehu to... Get away from me, you... you... Ugh. Come on, Charlie. At least your dog's not a homophobe. Hey, Habib, check out my kickflip. Smudge, what's a hobophone? A uh, special phone for hobos? Really? Hello? Duh, I think you mean a homophobe. But what does it mean? That you're afraid of gay people. I'm not afraid of anything. For tomorrow's class, everyone will prepare a five-minute presentation on gravity. Howard, you team up with Shari. Habib, you're with... Not Jeru, not Jeru. Smart. Yes! How can you hurt Jeru like that? You wanted to be his friend. I'm just protecting my reputation. As what, a total jerk? Huh? Just because someone's gay doesn't mean they have to be gay with you. But what if he uh, tries to make a pass? Habib, pass it to Jeru. Jeru is open, he's open. Pass it to Jeru. Come on, hustle, hustle, hustle. Open your eyes, Habib! Oh, no! What a moron! A loser! A total fruit! Hey, Smudge. I can't believe it. I was cut from the team. Serves you right, Mr. Homophobe. Hey, Smudge! Wait! Hey, if it isn't the sissy, uh -oh. you lost us the game. Yeah! Help! I got you now! There's a new ramp at the skate park. You want to check it out? I thought you wanted to stay away from me. Nah, I'm sorry. You see, while I was busy being a gramophone, that is, I mean, a hobophone. A homophobe. Uh, yeah. While I was busy being uh, that thing you said, I forgot about a skateboarder's real enemy. Homework? No. Gravity! <laughs> can you think of any good words? You see gay or lesbian. Any good words that you can come up with? Anything Happy. positive? You can talk to them. Okay. And talk to them. I heard happy. They have both meanings, like we're gay and we're happy, so they're happy, and so they say we're gay, like that. Okay, what other words? <laughs> right? That's good. And then I heard somebody say respect, right? Invite them into my home. <laughs> Invite them home if they're your good friends, right? Mm -hmm. Compliment them, don't make them feel uncomfortable, help them out. Treat them the way, the way that you want to be treated. What do you guys want to do with these really bad words? You have all these bad words on those sheets. What do you want to do with them? Rip them up! Rip it up! All right, so rip them up. Rip them up.